First tip, always have your outside lights on. Sergeant Erica Oldham says it's easy and criminals don't like lights. Having a working porch light or garage door lights, a back door light, um, lighting is one of the biggest deterrents from, from the get-go. After you've pulled into the garage and you close your garage door, watch it close all the way. So many times we just go into the house and we think it's closed all the way. Oh, and don't leave anything valuable in the car. Even though it's in the garage, that includes your purse, your bags, and don't leave your garage door opener where anyone can see it. Even having the garage door opener out of sight, um, that can be something that's of value. Um, and they come back, they take the garage door opener and come back when you're not expecting it or you're not home. Lock the person door leading into the house. It's that last line of defense in case the garage door is left open. And there are a couple of other subtle things you can do that will make an intruder think twice about targeting your house. There may be, um, one little clue that leads uh, a perpetrator to say, oh, I'm not going to pick that house today because there's um, a pair of man's shoes outside the door indicating that a man might be inside. A uh, dog bowl, a large dog bowl um, indicates maybe that there's a dog. Some other ways to stay safe at home, install a keypad for entry doors instead of using keys. That way you can always change the combination when you feel necessary and keep your cell phone by your bed at night and make sure it is easy to unlock so you can make a call in an emergency.